What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to hopefully help you choose the right faction for this next week when the first of three faction rally events of Season 3 starts. But before we go any further and get into the video guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to support the channel, hitting that like button truly helps me and the channel out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so faction rallies this time around is way different than what we have experienced in the past. Not only are the rules different, but the loot we can earn is so much better and at a much higher standard. The problem now is, you can only choose one faction across your entire account of three characters. So if you have one warlock, one titan and one hunter like most people, you can only pledge to one said faction across all three characters. Me personally, I think this is how it should have been from the get-go. I mean, it's kind of pointless allowing us to pledge to each. It means the end result for everyone will be the same, and a winning faction which offers their winning weapon, which costs 1,000 glimmer, to those who pledge to that faction, and 50,000 glimmer who didn't pledge to the faction, is completely irrelevant. This way, allowing us to choose one faction makes this much more of a war of factions for sure. So which one should you choose? Well, firstly, it's important to note, each faction offers different specific class exotic ornaments. Now this is where it gets pretty tricky for someone like me, and I'll explain in a second. New Monarchy will offer the Crest of Alpha Loopy ornament for the Titan, Dead Orbit will offer the Eye of Another World ornament for the Warlock, and Future Warcock will offer the Knucklehead Radar ornament for the Hunter. This alone for some people is enough to allow them to make an easy choice, but it gets a little more difficult for the likes of me, and I again will explain in a second. Each of these factions also offer a certain exotic weapon catalyst. New Monarchy offered a Sweet Business catalyst, Dead Orbit offered a Gravity and Lance catalyst, and Future Walker offered a Sunshot catalyst. After these catalysts are completed, the Masterwork versions of these exotics get the following buffs. Sweet Business gets an additional perk called Serious Business. When this weapon is fully spun up, flinch from incoming damage is greatly reduced. The Graviton Lance receives Hidden Hand which gives it plus 15 aim assist and a plus 20 range stat boost. And the Sunshot receives a plus 30 range stat boost and a plus 20 stability stat boost. Now to me there's one clear winner here and that's Dead Orbit when it comes to the Catalysts and the Masterwork versions. The Catalyst for the Gravity and Lance for 95% of the community is the most enticing. It is for me too. The weapon is a beast in PvP and it will only get better. Here is the issue I have. I main a Hunter. I do have a Titan but I do not have a Warlock. The Knockerhead Radar is one of my favourite PvP exotics in the game. But then again the Gravity and Lance and being able to make it a Masterwork version is just, well, it's unmissable. It's something I believe most people would want and wouldn't want to miss out on. The weapon is great for PvE and it's insane for PvP. It's the best of both worlds. So what does a hunter like me do? Do I go Future War Coat or do I go Dead Orbit and waste an exotic armor ornament? The choice is hard people, but there is much more than just catalysts these factions offer. Firstly, let's check out the new armor ornaments. Now these armor ornaments will apply to your existing faction rally armors. There is no new armor to chase just the ornaments. And to be honest, without actually in-game images of these, it's hard to make out which one is most appealing. I also guess it depends on your current armor stats too. I mean, you can lock the dog's bollocks, but when it actually comes down to it, it's the stats that really matter here. Personally, me, design-wise from what I can see, I'd probably choose New Monarch here. Definitely, in my opinion, the ones that stand out the most. I can just imagine some of these armors dressed in them crazy shaders we can apply. So the choice going by the ornaments is a pretty tough one. Now, these ornaments are unlocked via ranking up your factions. Don't forget, every package you open is a single rank. So 10 packages is 10 ranks. The cloak is unlocked at 5 ranks. The legs are unlocked at 10 ranks. The gauntlets are unlocked at 15 ranks. The chest is unlocked at 25 ranks and the helmet was unlocked at 35 ranks. Now upon getting to the ranks these ornaments are applied to, I guess there will be challenges to complete too to get these. I mean you won't just get them at the rank they are assigned to. Probably the class item you will, but others I doubt it. So let's move on to other loot they offer. Well there are weapons, ships and sparrows too, so let's check them out. And let's start with New Monarchy. And for reaching a rank 10, that's opening 10 packages through New Monarchy, you get the first of two weapons available with this faction, this event. An SMG called the Biden Hander. Now thanks to Destiny Tracker we can see a little more info on this weapon. You can see the stats of the weapon and its perks on screen now. Sights, it has SC Hollow and SD Thermal. We then have Extended Mag High Calibre Rounds and Ambitious Assassin. Now me personally, I hate SMGs so I won't be chasing this. 
Next up we have a Pulse Rifle called Duran 7. Now this is unlocked at a rank 30 and on screen now we can see its stats and perks. Now with the current meta this should be a decent weapon for sure. It has SRO41 Ocular, SLO Post and SRO52 Ocular. It has Ricochet Rounds, Appended Mag and Zen Moment. So this indeed could be a decent weapon for sure guys. At a rank 20 new monarchy offer a ship called the tri rank Tox. Now no image is available for this at the moment. Moving on to Dead Orbit and at a rank 10 you are rewarded a sniper called the Aniella. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Stats and perks are on screen now. Scopes it has zoom 30 focus and zoom 10 point. It then has accurate rounds and fled magwell with opening shot. Again snipers ain't my thing in Destiny 2. I mean does anyone even use them nowadays? At a rank 30 you get a hand cannon called Argamid. Stats and perks are on screen now. It has steady hand HES, crossfire HES and hit mark HES. It then has alloy magazine and armor piercing rounds with rampage. Hand cannons in the opinions of many just ain't in the right place right now. If they were this could be a quite decent weapon for sure. For a rank 30 dead orbit you are rewarded the Rotaro 33 ship. Again no images can be found at the moment. Moving on to future war cult. And at a rank 10 you are rewarded the Magnum Shepherd Pulse Rifle. Stats and perks are on screen now. It has a range lens RLR5 and red dot MOA. It has extended mag and alloy magazine with high impact rounds. This again guys could be a great PvP weapon. At rank 30 you are rewarded the pit launcher rocket launcher. Stats and perks are on screen now. It has hard launch, counter mass and quick launch. It has high explosive ordnance, high velocity rounds and snapshot sights. At rank 30 you are rewarded this G008 zip hopper which is a sparrow and it looks great. So guys, a few decent looking weapons up for grabs, but in my opinion, nothing that looks spectacular. But there's even more incentive to play and win. Each faction will have a winner's weapon. So over the course of the week, this event is live. The faction which has opened the most packages across all the people who have pledged will win. The faction will then offer a winner's weapon. People who pledge to the faction can buy that weapon for 1000 glimmer. People who didn't pledge that faction can pay 50,000 glimmer. Now it's important to state these rules are old, but because they've mentioned no update on them, I'm guessing they still apply. So what winning weapons are there? For new monarchy, the winning weapon is a rocket launcher called the Broadsword. Stats and perks are on screen now. It has counter mass, volatile launch and smart drift control. It has implosion rounds, high velocity rounds and auto loading holster. I mean it looks okay but there are plenty of better rocket launchers in the game at the moment. For dead orbit the winner's weapon is a shotgun called the basilisk. Perks and stats are on screen now. It has smooth bore, rifled barrel and fluted barrel. It has extended mag, accurized rounds and auto loading holster. Again, looks good, but shotguns in my opinion are weird. I've seen crappy ones which are actually pretty good, and then I've seen great looking ones which suck balls. So with this we're just going to have to wait and try. And for future war call, we have a sidearm called Division. Perks and stats are on screen now. It has target SAS, short spec SAS and farpoint SAS. It then has accurized rounds and appended mag with kill clips. So out of the three weapons, this in my opinion looks the most enticing for sure. Is it enough to make me choose this faction though? I don't know people. The choice between the three is seriously hard, but in my opinion there's only one winner here for me, and that's Dead Orbit. Dead Orbit offered the best reward and that is the Graviton Lance Catalyst. Going with Dead Orbit for me is against what I stand for, I normally choose these guys last, as I normally hate them the most, but let's say for the first faction rallies, I just want to get them out of the way so I can concentrate on other factions I actually want to be pledged to. So that's my choice, what will be yours? Future War Cult with the Magnum Shepherd, the Pit Launcher, the Zip Hopper, the Knucklehead Radar Ornament, the Sunshot Catalyst and the Vision Sidearm. New Monarchy with the Biden Hander, the Juan 7, the Tox, the Crest of Alpha Loopy Ornament, the Sweet Business Catalyst, or the Broadsword Launcher? Or will it be Dead Orbit with the Aniella, the Argamid, the Rotaro 33 Ship, the Eye of Another World Ornament, the Graviton Lance Catalyst, and the Basilisk Shotgun? The choice is hard, people, but let me know which you will choose down below within that comment section. Guys, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks as always for stopping by, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leaving a like truly does help me and my channel out. Again, thanks for stopping by people. I hope this video helped you out and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stay.